This video shows why older emails are missing in Outlook and how you can get them back. So as you can see, I have Outlook open and I'm in an email account. And the, basically what you want to do is if you if you notice you're going to a specific folder, especially somewhere where you store things and you scroll back and you cannot see stuff past a year, it's because Microsoft has created a setting that says only keep email for 12 months. And that's sort of the default for Outlook unless you change it. So here's how you change it. You're going to go to file and Outlook. And under the account information pay, uh, section, which is basically where it defaults into, you want to click on this account settings and you want to click it so that the arrow comes down and you're going to click on account settings. This is going to bring up all your different email account profiles. From here, you're going to pick the account that you're looking at and this might say exchange or something else over here and the window that you get after this uh, could possibly be different based on the type of email. For IMAP, it's going to show you like this. I'm going to say change. So I can modify it. It's going to bring everything up. And right in here it says mail settings. Keep mail offline for how long? So you can move this slider by clicking on it. So 24 months, 36, or you can go all the way to the right and it's going to say all. But in general, when you first start, see if I can get close, six months, 12. In general, accounts are going to be set to 12 months by default because that's a, Microsoft, that's a new Microsoft setting. And that's not necessarily always what you want because when you go, try to look for older stuff, you have to like kind of download it on the fly. I don't like that. I'd rather have all my email in one place. So I usually click all the way over to the right. I say all and then I say next and it's going to say successfully updated. And again, depending upon what type of mail program this is, if you have Exchange, most of the time it'll make you restart Outlook to save that setting, um, which is fine. You just close the window and it'll pop up and tell you I must, you know, I must be restarted for the change to take effect. And then when you do, you'll notice down here it'll show you that it's downloading all those emails. In this instance, this is what I had already set, so there's really nothing uploading. But in general, what you'll notice when you first go to look is don't expect everything to be there right away. You'll get a notification down here at the bottom. I'm updating Xbox, whichever, not Xbox, but whatever mailbox it's you're on. If you have something specific, like say you're trying to find something in your sent items, click on your sent messages and then that will force it to start updating that folder right then and there and it'll get you there faster otherwise it'll sort of just go down these um you know one by one and it just takes a little bit of time depending upon how much it's downloading it should tell you the total down here and that'll give you an idea of how long it's going to take but that is how you get all of your emails in outlook to show up not just the most recent ones